So the AMA has its good moments and it has its cringe moments and I love, I wanted to match them. <laughs> <laughs> Should we get into the cringe guys? Yeah. No. Should we? This water tastes good. No, I'm just kidding, it is water. So, Sean and Camila won collab of the year and something terrible happened. <laughs> Camila leaned in for a kiss and Sean either didn't see it or accept it and this weird like little tango dance, we have a clip of it. Yeah. You know what? Okay, I was thinking about it, right? Camila, you have to get, Camila, are you listening, sweetie? Okay, good, just wanna make sure you're listening. You have to get a boyfriend that matches your PDA. Mm -hmm. I think that's what it is. Like, you can say whatever you want, like, um, like what I've said, they're not dating or whatever, or that like, he doesn't like her or whatever. But I think the real problem is, is like, listen, I'm a Latina and I'm from Miami. She's a Latina, she's from Miami. We make out anywhere. I would make out on the M train in front of the Pope. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> we love PDA. And he's a little white boy from Canada who's like, says, like, you know when, <laughs> he's just someone who says like, sorry for everything. You know what I mean? Like, sorry, sorry, can you answer? Like in an email, like, hi, so sorry to bother you. Can you do this thing for me? So sorry if you can, so sorry to bother you. Like, he's one of those, it's like that energy. He's like too nice and too polite. You know what I'm talking about? When you, when you need somebody who's just gonna take you and be like, yes, bitch, you know? In front of everybody. I got I get really apology vibes from him. And I don't get apology vibes from her. I get anxiety vibes from her. You can tell she's very nervous all the time, probably because people talk about her on like shows on YouTube and stuff. <laughs> I know what I do. Okay, then she, she accepts the award, right? And then Jamie Lee Curtis steps on her dress. It was just like a terrible... <laughs> It's like she can't win, I know. And I'm not making it any better. No, okay, so listen, now next, we have Shania Twain on the red carpet had this to say about Taylor Swift, please listen. Taylor's being honored tonight with Artist of the Decade, and you've been someone who's really stood up for her and, and spoken out about her talent. Why, why do you think she's so deserving? Taylor is the epitome of a hard worker, talent. Uh, you don't have to be beautiful to be a star. The shade of it all, the shade, the shade, the shade, the shade. I, I can tell also when this, when this video is playing, she like realizes what she said. And she's like, and I have to finish it up now. You know what I'm talking about? Like, and we've all been there, like foot in mouth. Like, I remember like years ago, I was talking to my friend. And I met his girlfriend. And I was like, oh my God, how long you guys been together? You guys are so cute. Last month when he went out, he was being such a little slut and I love, and he's like, she goes, two years. And I was like, oh, no. And I was like, and he was telling me how much he loves his girlfriend. <laughs> okay guys, we're gonna get into something where it hurts for me to, it hurts for me to do this, but I'm just gonna start off with Selena saying at the AMAs. Oh my God, do you, feel, do you feel that? Do you hear that? It sounds like an earthquake. I think it's all the 13 year olds that are gonna run to my YouTube comments. <gasps> so. Oh, it hurts my feelings. Um, so look, before I get into it, I know it's been confirmed that she had a panic attack before her show, okay? I know that she had a lupus flare up and that she was in pain. Like if you watch the red carpet, or just her walking around or dancing, you can tell that she is in pain. And like, she's super swollen because, and she's talked about it. She gets it like, um, what's the word, inflamada, inflamed. It's a, it's a flare up of lupus and it makes her look swollen in the face. She's talked about it, right? And regardless, I think she looked great. And look, I'm a pain baby. We talked about it in the opening, how I can't even handle a hangover and how I almost started crying because I had an eyelash in my eyeball, okay? I'm a big old baby. But I need to tell Selena something before we show this clip. No one cares about lip syncing anymore. Lip sync your fucking ass off because it's 2019, no one gives a fuck. We have robots that have record deals now. 
Okay, and when you're in pain or you're you're in a state of mind, you're not gonna do yourself justice. And I get being nervous. I black out before every single like literally when it's 30 seconds of the show, I'm like this, blacked out to do the show. <laughs> and I'm in a room with my crew that I see every day, and one of my best friends that I hired as a writing producer, and just an excuse to hang out with her because she has me on do not disturb. And she won't answer my text messages. <laughs> okay, I text her a lot. There's a lot of memes on the internet, you know. So listen. <laughs> I can't, so I get nervous doing this show in front of you guys and my crew, and I can't imagine a fucking stadium. So I'm gonna give her that benefit of the doubt, and I understand what was going on. But, play it. I saw the signs and I ignored it. Those colored glasses are distorted, set fire to my purpose. Yo, <laughs> guys, it breaks. I could, there's only one thing I can say. You know, I just it breaks my heart. But listen, she's my J22 sister. We have the same birthday, July 22nd. And listen, I have to tell my sister something. Lip sync your fucking ass off because she was so off key. I don't think that key exists. That is so off key. I, she saw. She was so off key that it gave her a little country twang, like goofy, like that kind of. And listen, I suffer from anxiety. I get it. But what do you want? What do you want? Do you want? Because the internet is a cruel place. I know. I pissed off the smilers this weekend. <laughs> so, listen, the internet is a, is a is a dark place. And you know what, smilers? I like my nose. But listen. <laughs> What would you rather, the tweets that say, this bitch can't sing for shit, or, oh my god, I think she's lip syncing. Which one would you put, please? Yeah. Let's play another clip, come on. This dancer was killing me so I needed to hate you to love me. You know when you're on a plane and there's a lot of turbulence? You know when you're on a plane and there's a lot of turbulence? So you put your hands on the armrest and you try to lift the plane with you? Yeah. When she sings, I want to go like this. <laughs> <laughs> or like, okay, so we're listening to her. And you know what this reminds me of? You know when you find yourself in like a bathroom? I, I mean, we all go to the bathroom every day. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is like when you go to like a party or something or you, and you like, you're in the bathroom, you're like, wow, this bathroom has great acoustics. So you take, a vo you take your voice memo app out and you're like, huh, lose you to love me, to love, love. And then you listen to it later and you're like, ah, oh, it's confirmed, I'm trash. Like that's what the kind of voice memo that reminds me of. And you know what? I have to go get prepped to be canceled by the Selenators, 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 the Selenators, the Selenators, the Salinasitas, the small Salinas. The Salanas. And I just remembered I can't sing, so I'm super depressed. Let's take a break. I just I can't do this. Oh my god, are you doing something in your hair? Please keep watching me every weekday, 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll be right here waiting for you with a lot of gossip to talk about. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. We talk so much shit about the Kardashians. It's a great time. I'll see you then.